Hi everyone, my name is Fernando Romero. Um, this is my first year at Chandler Gilbert Community College, but not my first year at Maricopa. I've been teaching for Maricopa for 16 years now. I just transferred from Glendale Community College. Chandler Gilbert is my home community because I live close to Chandler Gilbert and I'm pretty happy to be here in the psychology department. I use OER as you're going to hear from my presentation because it actually aligns with many principles that I believe are at the core of our mission at the Maricopa Community Colleges. It also aligns with me as an instructor in terms of my philosophy of teaching and uh, my philosophy of learning and instruction. And I use OER materials in all of my classes. I no longer teach anything without OERs. I teach Introduction to Psychology, Lifespan Development, Positive Psychology, and Psychology and Culture. For anybody who is not really into OERs yet, I don't want you to feel scared that you have to publish a book or that you have to create websites and you have to take on this huge project because that's a very scary proposition. And it doesn't necessarily need to imply that all your materials are OER. It may be that you want to start with one specific assignment in one semester. Maybe you increase resources, maybe you add additional resources for your students and approach this in, in a very systematic but uh, manageable type of approach. In my field in psychology, at least here at Chandler Gilbert Community College, our bread and butter courses are Psych 101 and Psychology and Culture. And these days, there is so much out there that is already created that is it's almost no different using OER versus for-profit published materials. So for me, the choice is pretty easy to just adopt whatever. I mean, we have to prep, we have to adapt. So might as well adapt and prep something that is going to make it more likely for students to have access to the materials. Because if you think about it, at the core of our mission at the Maricopa Community Colleges is access and inclusion. And if we really want to make a dent in terms of those variables, inclusion, equity, diversity, accessibility to higher education, we need to think outside of the box and we need to remove as many barriers as we possibly can. And that's what I hear everybody who's presenting here doing. For example, I was very afraid of uh, adopting all your materials. So what I did, my first strategy was to make sure that I adopted low cost materials. So something that was under $40. And I negotiated very hard with publishers and they, they play ball because it was either selling a reduced cost book or not, or losing a big account. So they, they decided to discount the price. But then I kept having problems because some students will not buy the textbooks. Some students will take a long time to find the book. They will buy the wrong textbooks, so on and so forth. With OERs, you can actually integrate them and make them available from day one, and you're removing that barrier. Students don't have to wait for their financial aid to kick in. They don't have to hustle on Amazon.com to find a used copy of the textbook. It's already embedded into your course. It's accessible. The information is there. It may not be necessarily as flashy as the published materials, but in reality, we as instructors, our job is to bring that passion and really add the pizzazz in our courses. But unfortunately, I see us sometimes outsourcing too much. And I attended conferences to develop an expertise in OER. And some of the people that actually turned me towards OER were publishers because they were downright insulting. <laughs> I remember I, I attended a conference where one of the publishers kept saying that faculty could not do this. And they had a picture of a bathroom that had a door that was not designed properly and it was bumping into the toilet. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can, I can do a good job and we know we can produce good content. So I want to make a distinction between OERs and high quality OERs. If you're going to just provide zero cost materials, that are really bad, you're better off adopting low cost resources that are high in quality. Don't compromise quality ever because students will negatively be impacted by that. But as you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed from what I heard Carolina describe in terms of her book, also Fabio, 
all of the the textbook materials that he's using and, and listen carefully to the kinds of professional development opportunities that this adoption of OER materi materials help him be able to accomplish. He's part of a network of equally minded, equally motivated professionals, and he has a presence in those communities. That's wonderful. That puts Chandler Gilbert in the map, not just within our district, but also sometimes at national levels, international levels. That's, by the way, something that I found myself doing naturally. So, for example, I was granted a sabbatical, and I'm going to be sharing my materials in Italy in the spring 2023, where I'm going to teach psychology in Italy for a period of five weeks to as much as three months. But there are some details that we need to figure out. But I'm going to be representing Maricopa, and I'm going to be bringing my, my materials and helping them because part of the mission of the University of Bologna in Italy is that they want to internationalize their curriculum. Maybe we can create partnerships with them. So I think OER is a universe that can open a lot of possibilities for the students in terms of inclusion, diversity, equity, and access. But also for us as faculty, I want to finish by just saying that we have to be very careful about outsourcing a lot of this to publishers because we need to remain competitive and we need to make sure that, that we provide added value. And these are some of the, some of the responses that, that I got from students. They say that this is something that actually matters to them tremendously. If we want to continue being relevant and competitive in higher education, we need to adapt. We need to change. We need to be innovative. We need to up our game, and OER is an effective way of doing that.